Hi everyone. In this video, we demonstrate multiple UE support in Open Air Interface 5G and our standalone mode. Multi UE support is one of the features our team here at Open Air X Labs has been working on enabling in the OAI stack. This slide shows the demo setup, which is on the Colosseum testbed. We use four nodes, also called SRNs or standard radio nodes. As you can see from the block diagram, all software run by user experiments on Colosseum is deployed within LXC containers on these SRNs. On SRN1 shown on the right, we deploy OAI 5G core network. OAI 5G core network functions are deployed within Docker containers and they run on a separate Docker network. OAI core network components currently include AMF, SMF, UPF, and NRF. The demo OAI interface provides a bridge into the Docker network. The GNODE B runs in an LXE container on SRN2 and connects to the core network host via Ethernet. SRN2 is connected to a USRPX310 that the GNODE B uses to communicate over Colosseum's massive channel emulator or MCAM. In our deployment, we currently emulate a simple 0 dB path loss scenario. On the left are two SRNs, SRN3 and SRN4, which are the UE hosts. The OAI UE runs within LXE containers on these SRNs, and these also transmit and receive via a USRPX310. We will now show a demo of multiple UE support in end-to-end -end OAI 5G standalone mode. We will show this by connecting and registering two SDR-based OAI soft UEs with the OAI 5G core network and also by simultaneously accessing data from the two UEs in downlink, and then by simultaneously sending data from the two UEs in the uplink. These four terminals seen here connect to four different hosts or SRNs on the Colosseum testbed. Each host is an Intel Xeon server. The host here at the bottom left runs the OAI core network. The core network functions are deployed within Docker containers. The other three hosts are each connected to a USRP X310 SDR. We will run GNODE-B on this host connected uh, at the top left here, and the two UEs will run on these hosts at the right. We also have Wireshark running here, which is configured to capture the control and data packets exchanged between the core network and the RAN. So essentially the packets exchanged on the N1, N2, and N3 interfaces. I will now start the GNODE-B on uh, the second host. When the GNODE-B starts, we can see here on Wireshark that it exchanges the ng setup request and response messages with the core network. I will now start the first UE. When the UE starts, it first completes the random access procedure with the GNODE-B and then initiates the registration and authentication with the core network, eventually successfully connecting to the core. It also establishes a PDU session with the core network uh, to exchange data traffic. Uh, we can see all of these messages um, exchanged between the UE and core network in Wireshark. As part of the PDU session establishment, the UE is also assigned an IP address by the core network, which we can see here. I will now start the second UE. The second UE will complete the same process of registration and authentication. Um, and it will also establish uh, the PDU session with the core network and will be assigned an IP address. We can see here that the second UE also um, completed the uh, registration process and um, got assigned an IP address. This shows that the two UEs can successfully register with the core network. Now that the UEs are registered and PDU session is established, we will show that the two UEs can also simultaneously access data from and send data to the network. In this demo, we will start two UDP streams using iPerf. First, I'll send UDP traffic in the downlink. For that, I have started an iPerf server on UE1 and another iPerf server on UE2. Uh, we will run two clients on the core network host, and each of those will connect to um, these uh, uh, one of these uh, iPerf servers. 
So as we can see in these two tabs, uh, I have these two iPerf clients. So I'll just run the, these clients now. And we can see on the right-hand side um, that these iPerf servers are receiving traffic. That means uh, that the two UEs can successfully receive traffic from the network. I will now run UDP traffic in the uplink. Um, for that, I am running the iPerf server um, on this um, host, running the core network, and I'll run the iPerf clients, two iPerf clients, one on each UE, and these, e, the, these will both connect to the iPerf server and um, send UDP traffic, which will be routed via the GNOME-B and core network, as was um, in the case of downlink traffic as well. So let me start these iPerf clients now. And we can see that this iPerf server um, is receiving traffic basically from both these um, UEs. And thus we demonstrate uh, the multiple UE support in OAI. And that concludes this demo. Thank you.